I'm Dr. Ruthie, sexuality educator, relationship expert, blogger over at exploringintimacy.com, and thanks to funwares.com, I'm here with part two in this two-part video series on how you can have more comfortable, happy sex during your period. In part one, we talked about whether or not it's a good idea and some of the pros and cons to sex during her menstrual cycle. In this part, number two, we're going to talk about tips and techniques to take care of any of the cons that you might be experiencing. All right, here we go. The first thing is that your period is going to be different at different times of the month, or her period is, depending on the level of flow. So it's typical for women to have some days where they have less blood and menstrual fluids and some days where they have more. So some women prefer to have sex on some of those days and prefer not to have sex on other of those days. So it doesn't have to be an all or nothing thing. We're always going to have sex on the period or we're always not. We can choose which days we're most interested in it. Um, and uh, on top of that, we can also go ahead and just plan ahead just a little bit and make the mess a non-issue. So the first thing that I always suggest to folks is get yourself some beautiful big Merlot bath towels. And you know what? They can be wonderful to use for sexual activity any time of the month, uh, but they also come in handy during her period. And you can get some really nice cotton ones that feel wonderful. They make a great throw in case you want to be having sex on the couch or some piece of furniture that you don't want to have to try and clean later or on the floor and you want a little soft squishy covering, which is really nice. So these make a great sex there to have anyway, just a nice big Merlot towel. And if it's a dark red color, um, it will also, you know, make sure that any kind of blood that gets on the fingers or that comes out of the body can just be easily wiped off in the towel and there's no mark and nobody really knows the difference. You toss it in the wash, you don't have to worry about getting out the stains because it blends right in. So that's one of the biggest tips that people seem to really enjoy, and they find that they use those towels all times of the month anyway, and some folks like to use them every time they have sex because it just makes cleanup so much easier afterwards. You can always have some baby wipes on the bedside table. I think those are wonderful to have if you're sexually active, no matter what time of the month or what genders are involved in it. Um, we can also take a look at having something insertable like a sponge or a reusable menstrual cup or a disposable menstrual cup or a tampon and we can put that inside the vagina and let's talk about each of these really quickly. Um, a sponge, a vaginal sponge, and they don't sell these so much in the United States but you can buy them through companies out of the UK pretty easily. Um, there are certain sponges that are designed, they fit all the way up inside, you insert them with your fingers, and then you can swim, bike, run around, dance, or have sex with a sponge inside and it's condom safe. And your partner may be able to feel them with his or her fingers, but during intercourse, generally speaking, they, they're not noticeable. So that can even be a way that if you're not comfortable communicating it with your partner, or you just sort of want to pretend like it's not happening, you can still do so. Um, so just a search for menstrual sponges and then just looking through the websites to see, you know, if this is condom safe and sex safe and things like that. Um, a menstrual cup, whether it's disposable or reusable, um, the reusable kinds you just wash in between, you can't have intercourse at the same time, but you can enjoy cunnilingus, uh, which is oral sex on her, or manual stimulation, or Audi vibrators and toys, all you want, and anal fun and things like that. Um, but there won't be anything going into the vagina because the cup is already there. And unlike the sponge, you can't have sex with it at the same time. And then a lot of women will just use a tampon and either trim the string before they insert the tampon, they'll trim, trim the string shorter, or um, they'll just kind of tuck the string a little more into the vagina, or their partner doesn't care, so they just go ahead and have the string there and it's not a big deal, right? So again, same with the cup. You cannot have sex with a tampon in there. Um, it's just not a good idea. Um, and uh, so a lot of women will use one of those things and uh, the sponge is the only one of those that, that you may be able to have sex with at the same time and use a condom as well. Um, the other one's no sex. Now if you've trimmed the string on your tampon or if you've used a sponge, you will have to be comfortable with inserting your fingers a little bit into the vagina to either grab the end of that string or grab the edge of the sponge and pull it out, just so you know for comfort issues. Some women are cool with that, some are not. 
Um, this is also a great time to make use of all those barrier methods, which can make sex a lot more fun anytime, also happen to be safer. Um, if you're not fond of getting blood on yourself, or your partner's not fond of it, or you're not fond of your partner getting blood on them, um, gloves are a wonderfully slick feeling. You can get yourself a latex, or if folks are allergic to latex, you can get yourself a nitrile glove very easily at almost any pharmacy. Uh, you can use a male condom if the problem, and I hear a lot of women worry that they don't want him to pull himself out of her after intercourse and find blood on his penis, you can use a female condom and that makes a wonderful barrier between the two and then that won't happen. Um, we can also use plastic wrap for her to receive oral sex. A wonderful safer sex measure, fully approved. It's just a sheet and you just hold it at the top of the bottom. If you want, put a little lube on, on the receiver's side. If you want, put a little edible deliciousness on the giver's side. And you have a wonderful barrier between the two too if you feel like you want a barrier during that time of the month. Or if you just like to practice safer sex all the time anyway, it comes in particularly handy then. Some women ask about whether they can douche, which is just a rinsing or washing out of the inside of the vagina. Menstrual fluid will continue to come out after you have douched, so um, it may not really have a point to it. Um, if it's something that you decide you want to do, don't use any chemical products. Um, just uh, you know, empty those out of the bottle and fill it with a little bit of just lukewarm water and rinse gently with that. The chemicals can, can just play havoc with your inter internal levels of, of natural healthy bacteria and things like that. You can also look at things other than intercourse during her period or your period. You might find that you enjoy holding each other while you touch yourselves and so you have some side-by-side -side play. It can also be a great time to introduce some easily washable toys as well and you want to be washing your toys anyway so no big deal, right? Okay, so as you can tell, I am all for sex in your period as long as everyone's comfortable with it. And this is not ever a reason to um, push your female partner towards that if they do not want to be doing it. Um, but, you know, just opening that conversation and seeing what people are in the mood for and then a little bit of pre-planning can make it a wonderful experience, both communication-wise and physical pleasure-wise. I'm Dr. Ruthie, and I will talk to you in the next video. See you later, and happy Halloween.